So I have been equipped with an infrared thermometer today and I've been walking around Big Spring Park just kind of checking the temperature. So if you're on the roads, now's the time to get off of them. See the brighter greens? That's indicating the higher wind potential. You know, she says she blames the rain. I think she blames me. She says she's really getting uh, hostile towards me for this. I make the rain. And then you mix it all together. Oh, and of course you don't want to forget the uh, the sprinkles on top. Still tracking that wet weather across the Tennessee Valley, but I've got this looped for you over the last three hours. Now we're still dealing with very steady rainfall, but notice as opposed to three hours ago, you're seeing less of those oranges and those yellows indicating that heavier rainfall. And now it's mostly that light and dark green indicating lighter rainfall, but it is steady. But notice it is starting to taper off a little bit across northwest Alabama, and that is very good news because we are keeping a close eye on these rainfall totals. Now we still have a couple of pockets of some heavier rain rainfall between Russellville and Haleyville right now, but overall this entire system of steady rainfall is tracking east across the I-65 corridor right now, and overall it is winding down. So hopefully within about the next two hours or so, most of us will be getting a break in this wet weather, and we could certainly use it, especially those of you in Franklin and Marion County right now. Radar estimated rainfall totals over the last 12 hours, upwards of five inches in some spots. So I haven't heard any reports. I've put a call out on Twitter and Facebook for those of you around Vina, Hodges, Red Bay to see if there have been any flooding reports, uh, flooding instances. I haven't heard back on any of those, but those are the areas right now with the greatest concern for some of that uh, street level flooding. So just kind of be aware of that. If you see any water covering the roadways, do not attempt to drive over that. And all across the Tennessee Valley, we're going to be keeping an eye on that flooding potential, not just this evening, but heading into the holiday weekend. We do have a flash flood watch in effect for the entire Tennessee Valley through tomorrow night that could easily be extended into Sunday as well, depending on how much rainfall we see, but we're still expecting several rounds of these scattered showers and thunderstorms. So currently no flood warnings in effect with the exception of northeastern Mississippi, but there could easily be some localized flooding again. That's around uh, Vina Hodges and around Red Bay in Franklin County right now. So let's talk about the rainfall uh, that we are expecting heading into your evening hours. The steady rainfall across northwest Alabama will be slowly fading away over the coming hours, probably within the next two hours. We'll get a little bit of a dry break, but notice what's going to happen as we head into the overnight hours. Additional scattered showers and thunderstorms are expected. Not looking like a big severe weather threat, but could be noisy with those loud claps of thunder and that very heavy rainfall. Probably starting off our Independence Day holiday with some scattered showers and thunderstorms around. A little bit of a break in that wet weather towards the late morning, early afternoon, and then additional scattered showers and thunderstorms are expected for your 4th of July afternoon. It will not rain the entire time. There will be break in here, but could see some stronger thunderstorms in there. And then I'll put this further in motion. Notice these continue until around nine o'clock, but notice they're going to be slowly fading away by that time. So we may see some delays in those fireworks forecast uh, at the best, but I do think most of those showers and thunderstorms are going to be fading away as the time that those uh, fireworks do begin to kick off around the nine o'clock time frame. So here's a look at your fireworks forecast outside of any rain chances. It is going to be warm. It is going to be humid. Partly cloudy skies expected. Temperature around 75 degrees and again those storms will be fading away. Even better news starting with Sunday we will still have some rain chances but overall rain coverage is going to be winding down and we are back to a more summer like weather pattern with high temperatures back closer to where they should be for this time of year around 90 degrees and we may, it may even get a little bit of sunshine in a couple of days. So <laughs> what is that? Not the best 4th of July forecast but there will be some breaks. It's just going to be so very important to have a way to receive those weather alerts should anything be mm -hmm. issued while you're out and about should you need to head indoors. Uh, briefly. Very, very important. And that rain really could postpone some of the fireworks shows going on across the Tennessee Valley. And if that happens, you could be caught out in the storm. Yeah. Time this out for us, Lauren, because I'm thinking this is coming just a little after the morning commute, at least the heavy morning commute. Yeah, it looks like uh, through around 9 o'clock, that's when uh, the storms will start to arrive. And that's just for northwest Alabama. If, uh, now, when we get off work around lunchtime, that's when the uh, heavier rain is going to be moving in. So currently showing dry and calm conditions across the Tennessee Valley. But as I broaden this out just a little bit, you'll see these uh, weakening showers and thunderstorms with this complex moving through western Tennessee right now. But these are tracking to the south and to the east. And again, that'll put it along on northwest Alabama right at the end of the morning commute. So starting at around 9 at 10 o'clock this morning, that's when those rain chances will start to pick up for those of you in Lauderdale, Colbert and Franklin County. It'll be a little bit closer to around 11 a.m. lunch hour for those of you along the I-65 corridor, uh, including the Huntsville and Madison metro areas. And shortly after the lunch hour around 12, 1, 2 o'clock for Sand Mountain and uh, Jackson and DeKalb County. 
Then later into the afternoon hours, rain chances they diminish, although an isolated shower or storm is still possible this afternoon. And then yet another wave of showers and storms is forecasted later on tonight. Those will diminish during the overnight hours. Tomorrow we're warm and muggy again. Tomorrow afternoon, hot and humid. And then a few more showers and thunderstorms will likely develop tomorrow afternoon as well, mainly south of the Tennessee River. This is going to be actually out ahead of the cold front that we are going to be tracking that is going to be bringing in very, very comfortable conditions. So for today and tomorrow, even though we're talking about rain chances, it's still going to be hot. It is still going to be humid. Those dew points are still putting us right in that sticky range. But by Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the dew points take a nosedive. It is going to be very, very pleasant. And on top of that, very clear nights. And as I promised in this hour, we have a meteor shower to look forward to with these clear nights. It's going to be peaking Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday being the primary time for that between uh, Wednesday and Thursday. So Wednesday, Wednesday night into Thursday morning up to 100 meteors per hour and all you have to do get away from city lights and look up. So really pleasant conditions going to feel fantastic. We'll talk more about today's storm chances though in just a few minutes.